Are you going to be able to finish your work and get up here soon? Oh, honey, I don't know. I am really swamped. Oh. Well, uh, when does Martin and Pilar's uh, ceremony start? I don't know. It keeps getting delayed. Well, that's odd. I don't really see Pilar having last-minute jitters, do you? No, something's up. But at least you haven't missed it. I, I mean, you are going to be able to get up here eventually, right? Sweetheart, I just... I don't know. You know, Mr. Collier is really piled on the work here, and there seems to be no end to it. There is no end to it, Gwen. I'm going to make sure Collier keeps you at work till dawn, so I can have Ethan all to myself. Before this night is over, I will convince him to come back to Crane Industries and work with me. Oh, I'll get you some coffee, some deep. Not now, Dad. All right, what's wrong? Look, I have to talk to you about Fancy. Knock, knock. <laughs> Hello. Great, Aunt Rachel. Aunt will do nicely, Fancy. Are you all right? Thanks for checking on me, but my eye is fine. I'm not in any pain. I wasn't asking about your eye. I was asking about your heart. Maria's just so big. Mm. Oh, my, yes. Ooh. She's even beginning to talk. <laughs> well, at least one good thing came out of your abandonment of the darling child. Abandonment? Oh, did I say that? Oh, so sorry. <laughs> I'm sure chasing all over the world after charity was well worth missing this little one's formative year. <gasps> and to every cloud there's a silver lining. The four of us have made such a happy home together. Kay and Bertha, two unwed mothers and their fatherless little girls. <laughs> It is a pity that there isn't a man around sometimes, you know. <laughs> Two mommies. A bit confusing for the girls, don't you think? Bye. <laughs> Come on, Kay. I mean, you're not making any sense. Why haven't you told Miguel that we're engaged yet? It's complicated. Not to me. Fox, didn't you see his face? I mean, he was really hurt when Maria called you daddy. Eh, and he better get used to it, too. You know, when we're married, I'm going to be Maria's stepfather. Yeah, the sooner that Miguel knows which way the land lays, the better. Okay, please tell him that we're engaged. and I will. Unless there's some other reason why you're not telling him. Okay, do you still want to be with Miguel? That's all I am to you. A duty, an obligation. Not a wife, not a lover. You're only marrying me because you think you owe me? No, Pilar, let me explain. No, this. Martin. There's nothing to explain. This ceremony is canceled. I don't want you to make vows to God that are lies. This marriage is over. I had no idea this man was so badly hurt. What if he dies? Doctor, will he be okay? I'm cautiously optimistic, but I can't make predictions. Can he speak to us? No, he's in no shape to talk to anyone. He's stable for the moment, but we'll have to watch him closely. He might know where my son is. Well, you'll have to wait. Now, please, both of you step outside. We need to work here. Sure. They can't find Otto or his car. He's disappeared. How could they not find him? We're on an island. Don't worry, they'll find him. Maybe not. Otto has my father's money and organization working behind him. That man in there might be our only hope. We don't even know who he is. I can't shake this strange feeling that he's very important to me. Oh.
woman from Noah's past, Maya, and something happened with them, and he won't tell me what. I can't be with a man who keeps secrets from me. I can't. I won't. What about Fancy? Um, yeah, it's about the accident. <clears throat> There's no accident. Are you finally gonna tell me what you know about that girl, Maya? Yes. Look, because, because Fancy is my life. And she's hurt because of me. I, I gotta get this off my chest, even though Fancy says it's through. She ended it? Because I wouldn't tell her the truth. <laughs> then I don't blame her. Secrets and lies will kill any relationship. But I'm going to be honest with her and with you. Look, Fancy needs to know that, that I love her, that there has never been nor will ever be a woman that means as much to me as her. My God, look at you. You're gorgeous. So are you. You've grown up into such a beautiful girl. Girl? <laughs> Sorry, woman. <laughs> That's better. Isn't Maria adorable? Yeah, she is. You know, it kills me. I haven't been here to see her grow up, though. Yes, you have sacrificed so much in your quest for dreary... D for darling charity. Even though she made it perfectly clear that she really didn't want to see any more of you. <laughs> yeah. Was it worth it? What? I mean, everybody knows how much you love charity, but... Maria's your own daughter. Shouldn't you be here in harmony with Kay? Aloma, people don't ask blunt questions like that. I do. Maria's my niece, and she's growing up without a father. Things have changed so much, Paloma. Modern men like Miguel have thrown off any idea of old-fashioned responsibility when it comes to their children. No, I haven't. I remember a time when, when a man would leave himself very open to criticism if he put a bun in a young lady's oven and then left her in the lurch. Tommy, huh? Well, but, but she, she does have a point. <laughs> I don't mean to upset you, Miguel. But Kay is doing everything for Maria. I mean, I, I know you love this charity. She's the love of my life, Paloma. But are you the love of hers? Miguel, she's been running away from you ever since she left Harmony. And while you've wasted years, you've lost precious time with Maria. You'll never get back. Fox, no. I do not want to be with Miguel. Yes. I loved him, but we have been very open and honest with each other from the beginning. And that, that, Miguel, it's over. It's over. I just, I just don't want to hurt him any more than I have to. And I think when he finds out we're engaged, it's going to really hurt him. And he lost charity, and I'm afraid that he's going to feel like he's losing Maria now, too. Kay, you know, he's got to find out someday. I know. Then why not tell him now? Maybe it's because sometimes I, I don't believe it myself. Believe what? All of this. That someone like you is actually considering marrying someone like me. Like you? <sighs> I knew you were nuts, but I didn't actually think that you were crazy. I mean, I'm the lucky one. Baby, you're the most amazing person I've ever met. I mean, look at you. You're smart, you're beautiful, you're sexy, and you're loving. And very loving. And you're a great mother. But you could have any woman in the world. No. You could have any man you want, but listen, I've got to pinch myself to make sure that I'm not dreaming that you picked me. You know what I mean. You're a crane. And you're a Bennett. I don't want anyone else. Well, then we both lucked out and have just the person. He 
got that right. Lord, please, you can't call out the ceremony. I can, and I will. I am not a duty. I am a woman, the woman I thought you loved. All your promises, your vows, your words were all lies. You still want to be with your whore. No. Every time I turn around, you're in her arms. Well, you know what? Enough. Stay with her. Oh, my God. My God, was there ever a more foolish woman in the world than I? All those years that I waited for your return, all those years that I prayed and lit candles, keeping our marriage alive, teaching our children to never give up hope because you would come back to us. What a fool I was. And I... I even thought that wherever you were, Martin, you were thinking about me and dreaming about me the way I was dreaming about you, but you weren't, were you? Because you were too exhausted from betting your whore. Come on, you've got this all wrong. I promise you, you do. Have I? And you tell me, what is that? What is that? On the very night we are to recommit ourselves to each other, and to God, you sleep with your slut. I hate you. Oh, God, I hate you. Well, go on. Go on. Live in sin with that tramp. And may God have mercy on your souls. How's he doing? Not very well. It's so sad. He has to regain consciousness. He might beat the link to finding my missing son. He's very weak. Whoever held him captive treated him very badly. Do you have to keep his whole face covered like that? It's his eyes. When we exposed his eyes to the light before, we may have damaged his sight. God, no permanent damage? I hope not. But for now, we need to keep his eyes covered and away from the light. Watch him closely. Excuse me. I need to see another patient. Do we have to leave? No, but please, this man needs rest to recover his energy. Don't stimulate him. If only he could speak to us. He heard what the doctor said. We should wait. He may know where Marty is. Sharon, what's wrong? Teresa done to try to pull you into her web. Listen, will you stop worrying about Teresa? I love you, remember? So you say. Are you at least going to make it up here for the reception? You know, honey, really, I'm, I'm going to try to, but I'm, I'm up to my eyeballs and work here. Gwen, I need to go over the file on the Libby and the oil leases. Right away. Thank you. Okay, honey, I, I gotta go, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you back, but I love you, though, okay? Bye. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Did you, uh, need something? No, no, I am just leaving, actually. Oh, you know, I, um... Well, I wanted to apologize, Ethan, for putting the pressure on you to come back to work. Teresa, forget about it. It's over, okay? Yeah, it's just, um... You know, I'm in way over my head at Crane, and um, I just was wondering if you could give me some advice on some of this paperwork please, that I'm trying please to Please don't through. start this again. But I just, okay. I just need a, a few minutes of your time, please. I believed you. I had faith in you. I thought you were the most wonderful man in the world. A man like no other. But I have been. My God, I, I gave you chance after chance to be truthful. To choose between me and this slut. I believed you when you said that I was the one you loved. I believed you. Isn't that stupid? Because I thought you were a man of honor. I am a man of honor. 
kissing another woman, having sex with her. We didn't have sex. God, for years, everyone in this town pitied me. Please, Pilar, move on. But I couldn't. I couldn't. Because I believed in you. I wasted my life waiting for a man who had moved on. How stupid. How are I stupid, Martin? Even when I found out that you had been in her bed for years, I forgave you. I forgave you. And you still went back to her. And on the very day that we are going to have the renewal of our vows, you slept with her behind my back in our marriage bed. I'm going to burn that bed. And I'm going to grind the ashes into the ground with my heel. You're right. I do feel guilty about all the time I lost with Maria. And I didn't even think about it until I got home and saw Maria and Kay and held her in my arms. You know, when I was out searching the world for charity, she was all I could think about. And maybe you all think she was running from me, but to be honest, I don't think Charity even knew I was looking for her. Oh, well, I find that hard to believe. It's true. I chased Charity from country to country, all over the world. And every time I thought I was getting close to finding her, something happened. Some, something weird. What weird? It's hard to put a finger on it. For instance, this one time in London, I had an address for Charity. It was a sure thing. I knew she was staying there. Forty-nine Carnaby Street. I know Charity's living there, but where's the house? I've searched the neighborhood three times. Excuse me, ma'am. I. Do you know where I can find 49 Carnaby Street? 49. Here now, are you pulling old Bessie's leg, young man, eh? 49. It used to be down the bottom of this street here, when I was just a slip of a girl. But one night, it just disappeared. Bloody Jerry's got it with a direct hit. <laughs> Sorry. My information must have been wrong. Thank you. Miguel never found that dimwit charity. Of <laughs> course, Miguel will never know that. <laughs> Thank you, my little witchling. No. <laughs> oh, dear, no. poor Kay. No. No. You remember that shadow that no. she saw in the bowl? No. Yes, it was coming between her relationship and Fox. No. I think it was Miguel all the time. Uh, oh, I, I think it's Maria. She needs changing. Come on, Hermanita. I'll show you how it's done. Are you showing me another vision, Indora? Things don't look too bad for Fox and Kay right at the moment. Great Lucifer's pantyhose. Oh, Indora. If you're right, this could be the beginning of a horrible nightmare for Fox and Kay. Look, if you love Fancy this much, it'll work out. Let's see. She's right. You have to be honest with her. 
I mean, look at Ivy and myself. Look, that's the only basis for a true and lasting relationship. Yeah, but it took you and Ivy years to find your way back to one another. I mean, I don't want to miss out on one single day of my life with Fancy. Oh, Fancy, please, don't act in haste. Give the man a chance. A chance? I have given him the chance to be honest over and over again, and he's still lying to me. You know what it's like in this family? Secrets, deceptions. You never know if anyone's showing you their public face or their private face. And I can't bear that. I won't. It's over with Noah. You know, when I was hiding in this house for all those weeks, I overheard a lot of things, and I saw a lot of things. And one thing that I learned, Noah Bennett loves you with all his heart. So he says. But if he does, why can't he be open and honest with me? He's holding back about Maya. And why can't he just tell me what happened? And Maya's holding back about Noah as well. From what I overheard her say on the phone before Alistair's party, oh, she still has feelings for him. And the two of them are mixed up in something nasty. Should I tell Fancy? Forget about Maya. I mean, we all have past. Just trust in his love for you. What if he loves Maya more? If you love him, then you fight for him. Or else live with regret for the rest of your life. Sharon, what's wrong? I think I'm, I'm just a little startled. When I touched this man, I had a vivid memory of Luis. Isn't that strange? As if this poor soul could trigger my memory. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. You said before you had a feeling that Luis was leading you back to Marty. And you just associate this man with Marty, too. I suppose so. Please, God, let this man be the one that gives me back my son. Oh. Oh, I hope I didn't wake him. The doctor said he needs his rest. Oh, maybe he heard the names Luis and Marty and he's reacting to it. Or maybe he had contact with Luis when he was searching for, for Marty. Do you think so? Sir, do you know where my son Marty is? Who are you? Why did you come back? If all you wanted to do was hurt me. Lord, please listen. Don't. Me. You did touch me. You save your touches for her. Just please try to understand. Catherine was waiting for me at the house. She wanted me to make love, but I refused. You've said that already. What you haven't said is, why are those scratches on your back? I... Why couldn't you throw her out? Why didn't you call the police? Police? Well, she broke into our house, didn't she? Into our bedroom. I couldn't do that. Of course not. Because Catherine always comes first. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, Catherine, Tell please. Tell her the truth. The reason that I come first, that I will always come first, is because he loves me, Polari. doesn't love you. Oh, I hate you! God, I hate what you've done to my life! I hate you! I'll kill you! I swear to God, I'll kill you! Oh, Pyle, I'm sorry. It's how you always end our discussion. Captain, please, be quiet. Laura, I'm sorry. Leave me alone. What did I do to deserve this? Why did you do this to me? It's not what you think. Then what is it? Please, please, help me stand. Explain to me why you were with that war on the very day that we are going to renew our vows. Look, uh, let's get something straight right now. I'm not coming to work for you. No, I, I know, I know, I totally know that. It's just I'm, I'm, I'm really in a jam here, and I, I just need your help for a little bit. Teresa, it's not ethical. Even I'm just, I need your advice. That's all. If only because I am your daughter's mother. Gwen is Jane's legal mother. I am her biological mother. Even God gave her <sighs> to Teresa, me. Teresa, I don't, don't want to... Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't... I just, I please, I need a few business pointers. That's all. Can I, can I show you... Teresa, Drew, I'll think about it, okay? I will think about it. Right now, I want to go check on Jane, though. Okay, wait, um... 
you'll be back, right? You know, I can do, actually, I've got, I've got all these questions. I can just organize them out for you. Is that okay? All right. All right. All right. Oh, you'll be back. You can't help it. You love me. Sir, please. Who are you? Do you know where my son Marty is? Covers he'll lead us to Marty. Good luck, Sheridan. Luis will never recover. He'll never leave this hospital alive. him, just grab him and hold on and never let him go. How can I trust him if he won't tell me the truth? Perhaps he has a very good reason for not telling you what he knows about this other woman. But he loves you. You can't lose that. Believe me, I've lived a life with that love and I know how precious it is. But if you need to know what Noah is hiding, he will tell you in his own good time. But in the meantime, do not let this marvelous man slip through your fingers just because you're unwilling to bend. You're going to end up hating yourself. Now go to him. Find Noah. Go right now and find him. <sighs> we have a glittering future out of us. <laughs> glittering. Mm. We are so lucky. I know. You know why? It's honesty. And we don't have any secrets between us. I mean, look around us at Coach and Dr. Russell and my mom and my dad, Teresa and Ethan. Their lives were wrecked by secrets. I mean, they'll destroy any relationship. Well, some secrets have to be okay. <laughs> well, I will allow the occasional white lie just to spare my feelings. But that's it. You swear? Tabitha's wrong. Love can be anything. Planets, the dark side, even secrets. Nothing will come between us. Nothing. I know Kay always wants to lose weight, but this is ridiculous. I don't know. How can Miguel be the shadow that's going to destroy Fox and Kay's relationship if he isn't even going to stay in harmony? I mean, what's happening with my mind, Papa, and their ceremony? I mean, I haven't tried to see them yet because I want to surprise them. But what's with all these delays? I don't know, but something's going on. Well, I'm sure if there's a problem, they're going to work that out. I don't know why love has to be so hard. Ever since I came to harmony, every couple I know has been through hell. I know what you mean. You know, I love Charity so much, and looking for her has been so hard. That's over now. I think it's time I take charge of my own life. What do you mean? Well, maybe I'm growing up. You know, all this time I've been looking for Charity, and who knows? Maybe she doesn't want me after all. I think i got to get back to basics, to things I know are true. Like my daughter. I love her so much, and I want to be the best father I can be to her. I want to raise her. I want to guide her in life. I want to teach her what I know. Did I hear you right, Miguel? Did you say that you were going to stay in harmony? Yes. I'm back. For good. Laura, I don't know what to say. Why is that? If you really loved me, you'd know what to say. 
You would tell me that Catherine means nothing to you. That I'm the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. But that wouldn't be true. Stop it, Catherine. No. She's right. She's right. She has your heart. But me, I'm just a duty, a burden. She's the one you love, isn't she? You can't speak. You can't tell me that you love me. Because that would be a lie. And you can't tell your whore that you want to be with her because you want to spare my feelings. So you stand there and you say nothing. You're not a man. You're weak. You're a coward. No, talk to me, all right? How can I help? You know how there are some things I haven't told you about Maya? <laughs> well, it's been pretty clear from the get-go. So how can I help? I mean, do you need police help? Well, maybe, but first I just need you to hear me out. No, they told me you were in here. Oh, fancy, I... Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, we can uh, finish this up later. Um, right now you need to talk to this woman you love. All right. Good luck. Maybe you'd left. No, uh, but I can if you want me to. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to upset you. No, don't go. Wait. Um, is, is there something you need or, or, or help? Do you need some help? Or Yes, there is something you can help me with. A, a, a chair or, uh, or something to drink. Do you... uh, I'll tell you what I need. I am going to tell Miguel that we are engaged right away, I promise. Good. So I hope you don't think I'm some insecure jerk worrying about your old boyfriend. He was never my boyfriend. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to tell him about our engagement, and then we can start planning our wedding. Ooh. Anyway, I don't, I don't want you to worry about him, okay? Because he's only in town for a couple days, and then he'll be off... Searching the world for the love of his life, Charity, again. You're staying in harmony? Yes, I've made up my mind. Come on up again, that's a wonderful news. Oh, dear. Your Auntie Kay's in for heaps of trouble, sweet pea. And she has no idea the sky is about to fall in on her. Where is Ethan? Should have been here a long time ago. Collier. Mrs. Crane, don't get angry again. Oh, my God. Gwen's left the office. She's on her way to see Ethan, isn't she? No, that's not it. Look at the screen on your phone. I sent you a photo. Bitch. I have spent more than half my life alone, waiting for a man who doesn't exist. You've made my life a joke. No, let me explain. No. Please. No more. No more words. No more explaining. I don't want to be the object of your pity. I'm done. 
I am so done. It's over. And you, if this sad excuse of a man is what you want, then you can have him. I don't want him. I never want to see him again. Doctor, is there any way to speed up the healing process? This man might know where my missing son is. I need time, Mrs. Booth. You can't rush these things. Sharon, come on. There's nothing else to be done here. Let's go for a walk. Let's try and figure out some other way to find Marty. All right. He may be the key to finding my son. He must be. coming I just have the weirdest feeling that if I leave this man I'll never see him alive again don't you think you're overreacting on him it's been known to happen before you're much brighter than I gave you credit for Mrs. Booth Luis is dead <laughs> <laughs> 